our program. It is such a pleasure and an honor to stand before you today. My name is Dr. Candace Turner. I'm the Deputy Athletics Director here for Wayne State Athletics. And thank you all so much for coming out tonight. Let's give ourselves a hand. This evening, we have the wonderful honor of inducting eight new members into our Hall of Fame. It's such a prestigious honor, and we are so happy to have you all here today. Before we get started, I did want to take a minute to recognize the members of the Hall of Fame Selection Committee. So once you hear your name, if you could please stand up and be recognized. We have Ms. Catherine Likes. <laughs> Ms. Kayla Papp. Mr. Ian Larkin. Ms. Delanda Little. Mr. Mitch Ritter. Mr. Mike Horn. Ms. Hannah McClooney. Mr. Landon Mitchell. Ms. Carla Jewell. Mr. Jeff Weiss. And of course, last but definitely not certainly least, Miss Erica Wallace. At this time, we will have a formal welcome from our 13th president, Dr. Kimberly Andrews Espy. Thank you so much, Candace, and good evening, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be here to celebrate the induction of several warriors into the Wayne State University Athletic Hall of Fame. So you all know that I'm a very new president. I've been here two months, and I'm now into my third. And since coming to Detroit, I certainly recognize this is a city that takes its sports quite seriously. Now, you all may know, there you go. So I'm originally from Cincinnati, so my love of sports here comes naturally to me. And as Wayne State's new president, I'm so proud of our university's long role in Detroit sports history, a role that's even more exciting this year thanks to the new energy and enthusiasm by Erica Wallace that she's brought to our athletic department. Join me. because she is simply awesome. Okay, so it's great to see, there we go, we can do it again. So it's great to see so many members of our Wayne State community here for homecoming week. Throughout the week, we've had so many opportunities to take part in our campus activities and wearing green and gold, and quite frankly, just celebrating what it means to, for warrior spirit. I can't wait to join everyone. It'll be a little chillier tomorrow than it has been in the past at Adams Field to cheer on Coach Wheatley and our Warriors against Michigan Tech. And I hope to see many of you there as well. I can't think of a better way to close out this week than by honoring the several men and women who made important contributions to Wayne State's long history of athletic excellence. Tonight, seven former Wayne State student athletes and one former coach will join the 262 other Tartar and Warriors recognized in the Hall of Fame. This year's inductees include swimmers and a softball player, a basketball standout, an All-American golfer, a national diving champion, and the university's all-time winningest football quarterback and the all-time winningest NCAA Division II softball coach. Is that awesome or what? They show the full breadth of the talent and excellence produced in Wayne State Athletics. Joaquin, Gloria, Lindsay, Mike, Joe, Mickey, Elizabeth, and Coach Bryce, you brought your talent and get dedication to every game, match, and meet, and showed what it means to be Warrior Strong. Congratulations on tonight's honor. 
Now, you are a part of a long and proud athletic heritage. You represent a university that is home to 18 athletic programs and more than 400 student athletes, all committed to excellence. This commitment was evident in the latest NACTA Director's Cup standings where Wayne State finished in the top 7% of the more than 300 NCAA Division II schools in terms of postseason success. Woohoo! But as the president, I would be remiss if I didn't remind everyone that this success extends to other areas of campus. Our Warriors are outstanding athletes, and they complement that by also being exemplary students and contributing members to our Detroit community. Nearly 77% of Wayne State student athletes maintain a cumulative GPA of at least 3.0, and more than half of a 3.5 or above. Every one of our teams has a cumulative GPA above 3.0. They bring the same dedication and determination into the classroom that they show on the field or in the pool and everywhere else that they compete. So I'm so proud of the example that they set, both for Wayne State and for other colleges across the nation. They also have a strong desire to make the world a better place, starting in our Midtown neighborhood. Over the past 11 years, Wayne State student athletes have contributed, I kid you not, 100,000 hours to our local community. Okay, clap, yeah, yeah. So just think about how many hours that is. You know, you all are aware of the intense time and dedication required of our athletes. Early morning practices, missing time with family and friends to prepare for an upcoming game, leaving it all on the field in pursuit of victory. Our students do that while also contributing back to their community, staying up in their studies, and being truly role models for all. So I'm so proud of our student athletes because they're students and citizens first. We do want to win, yeah, yeah, but we never lose sight of the fact that we're preparing students to graduate and be successful in their careers. What they learn in the classrooms and clinics and through their internships and mentorships will prepare them to succeed, not only in job one, but over their career. It's that teamwork, the drive, the hustle, the focus of athletics that instills something you can't always learn in a classroom. It shapes character and it creates leaders. And tonight, we honor these warriors for their athletic successes and for the excellence they also brought with them to campus, to Detroit, and every area of their lives. So congratulations again, warriors, and I look forward to meeting you all this evening. Thank you. Thank you so much to President Espy. It's such an honor to have her here with us this evening. She's definitely committed to the urban mission of Wayne State University and the innovation of our athletics department. And keeping that same energy, next up we have none other than our Director of Athletics, Erica Wallace. <laughs> It is my absolute pleasure uh, to welcome everyone to our Hall of Fame banquet. Um, I'm honored to be here and I am so honored to be the athletic director here at Wayne State University. <laughs> Thank you, President Espy. Um, with those remarks on excellence and really showcasing who we are and what we're about here at Wayne State. If you take one thing away from what was said, I truly hope everyone can value the emphasis that we put on the student portion of student athletes. Because at the end of the day, our goal is to graduate champions. And that's exactly what our inductees exemplify this year. We have seven former student athletes who graduated champions, and we have one coach who himself graduated numerous <laughs> champions. Each year we sit down and we meet as a Hall of Fame committee. Uh, we spend a lot of hours uh, diligently reviewing nominations, files from other nominees. We have so many deserving nominations and every year it gets that much harder for us to choose our top candidates. So I do also want to take some time to thank those that go through that process and serve on this committee. 
Uh, thank you for your dedication and really your service to this process because we all would not be here tonight if you did not put in that time. So thank you very much to the committee. As I look at our class of inductees this year and reflect on all that they've accomplished, it's very, very inspiring. Um, I know I've only been here to witness these accomplishments for a few years, but serving on the Hall of Fame committee these past four years has allowed me the opportunity to learn about the rich history of competitive success that we have here at Wayne State. Since 1976, we have recognized a distinguished number of men and women, but this evening we shine a light on the eight individuals and their impacts to our university and the Department of Athletics. So I would like to introduce each new Hall of Fame inductee. I ask that each inductee stand briefly as I call your name and please stay standing. Joaquin Vasco Gallagos. representing his induction. <laughs> Mike Collingsworth, men's basketball. <laughs> and Elizabeth Rawlings, women's <laughs> swimming basketball. Each and every one of you are a true representation of what it means to be a warrior and a tartar here and there. <laughs> you embody our pillars of success, which include academic achievement, community engagement, and competitive excellence. As we all know, the Hall of Fame induction is based on many individual recognitions. However, I want to point out what these individuals have accomplished together. Teamwork, togetherness are characteristics that exist within all successful programs. And I believe it's important for us to honor those and these individuals on what they've accomplished together. It's quite astonishing when I read you these numbers. So together combined with our eight Hall of Fame inductees this year, we have 36 GLIAC titles. We have 28 NCAA tournament appearances. We have 88 All-American honorees, nine All-GLIAC honorees, six individual national championships, nine National Player of the Year recognitions, and 17 All-GLIAC Poseida All Academic Honorees. As an athletic department, we have values that are much larger than just the wins and the losses. We collaborate so that we can learn. We serve so that we can inspire. We compete so that we can excel and we achieve so that we can grow. This is what we strive to achieve every day as a Wayne State Warrior. And these inductees, they truly get it. I want all eight inductees to know that we appreciate and recognize the sacrifices that you have had to make in your lives to be sitting here today. I thank you all for representing our university and our athletic department 
with our values, not only is your time here as a Wayne State warrior, but also beyond in your everyday lives. So really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, it is my privilege to introduce to you all our current president of SAC, Noah Nicklin. So let me talk about Noah because this is the part that I really love about the job that I have. Noah is currently a graduate student pursuing an MBA, he'll be done in December, and he has a bachelor's degree in finance. I would say guess what sport he plays, but he is an offensive lineman <laughs> who is in his sixth year here at Wayne State. He is not only serving as the president of SAC this school year, he is also the chair of the Athlete Wellbeing Committee. He is a four-time member of the GLIAC All Academic Excellence Team and was selected by the Mike Village School of Business as 25 under 25 recipient earlier this year. He is also Wayne State's nominee for the 2023 All-State FCA Good Works team. It is my pleasure. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome Noah to the stage. Good evening, everyone. You hear me okay? Is it all right? Hi, enough? She did mention I'm going to come on. No, thank you, Erica. Um, as she mentioned, I, uh, I'm Noah Nicklin. I currently serve as a Student Athlete Advisory Committee uh, President here at Wayne State University, as well as the captain on the football team. First, I'd like to thank Mrs. Erica Wallace for allowing me to speak to you all tonight. It's truly a blessing and an honor to be here with you all. So thank you, Erica. Um, I'd also like to thank the leaders in our athletic department. I see them scattered to the back here, but you guys also always do such an amazing job, and we couldn't be more thankful. So, quick round of applause. <laughs> yeah, live it up back there. We love it. We love it. Tonight, we are gathered here not only to celebrate the rich history that we call Wayne State Athletics, but to celebrate the individuals who sacrifices and contributions truly make up what great university we have here. One of the reasons I was so honored to be able to speak tonight is the gratitude and respect that I have for our honorees. Your long lasting memories on this university continue to contribute to the daily decisions that both me and my peers work so hard to replicate your impact. Now, this is the part I just had to say, I've always felt that Wayne State has perfectly embodied the city of Detroit. When I say that, three things come to mind. Grit, passion, and hard work. These three things can easily be said about any of our inductees time and career here at Wayne State. The inductees that we will be introduced to later tonight have such a large impact on our current student body. They are such a huge impact on why both current and future warriors are so proud to call Wayne State our home. This induction ceremony is not only a momentous ceremony for all of you tonight, but it is a bridge where we can bridge the, both the past and the future. Um, in better words, an opportunity for us to pay tribute to those who have paved the way for us to find success, um, shown the possibility of greatness, and continue to excite us for the future to come. Um, with that being said, I just am so grateful that I've been able to give, be here tonight to speak to you all. Um, I'd like to personally thank the tw or congratulate the 2023 class and thank you on behalf of all current student athletes. Go worry. Thank you again, Candice, again. Um, I just got, before I uh, carry on uh, with our last inductee here for the evening, I just wanted to say 
to all the inductees. Your speeches are so good. I really, I mean, I love hearing all your stories and uh, it's just, I mean, you guys are killing it tonight. Way to go. Congratulations to everybody out there. But our final inductee of the night is Elizabeth Rawlings. When Elizabeth first arrived at Wayne State, she was coming aboard a diving program, which in my humble opinion, was truly one of the best diving programs in the country. And Coach Kelly LaCroix, who's over here right now, assembled um, some of the top flight divers that I have ever seen. And Elizabeth Rawlings um, knew when she came in here that the stakes were high, and so were the expectations that Coach LaCroix was having on her. As a freshman, she did the amazing by placing top three in the country, which is really, really unheard of as a freshman diver. However, it was her sophomore season where Liz would make history. She stepped on a very high board and reached for a very high mark. That year, Liz did something that even the greats that came before her couldn't do and didn't do. She was as flawless as a diver could be and set an NCAA record in three meter diving that stands today. When I think of Liz, a word that comes to my mind is pre precise, precision. She approached every workout, and even in extreme pain, trying to be the best version of herself that she could be. It took discipline and focus for Liz to be that precise. As a swimming coach, I came to realize that I could always count on Liz. And when I look up at that record board, and I know there's some divers in the room that are gonna be trying to go for that record, know this, it's the best it's ever been. And she is a Hall of Famer. Please put your hands together for 2023 Hall of Fame inductee, Elizabeth Rollins. but um, I think this is the most important one I think I will ever do. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank uh, Wayne State Athletics, the Hall of Fame, the committee, President Kimberly Esprit, and Athletic Director Eric Wallace for all bringing us here today. Um, after graduation, we all kind of go off and do our own thing, so it's kind of nice to bring everybody back to a place where we used to spend uh, most of our time with, with people we used to spend all of our time with. Um, Feels like yesterday, I was in my, on campus in my UT apartment playing Mario Kart with the swim team, getting ready for my first college semester. And I look back on those days and I realize that this team has shaped me into the woman I have been today. Um, fun fact, my career did not start as a diver. It was actually as a swimmer. I was a competitive swimmer at the age of five and I used to watch all the high school divers in middle school and I thought everything looked really easy. And I was like, you know what, I can do that. So in middle school, I thought I'd try diving, and everybody thought I was crazy. Well, I guess crazy really paid off. Um, my career in diving wouldn't have been as successful as it was if it weren't for my family. Uh, Mom, Dad, Emily, my aunts and uncles that are here today. Um, you guys have never missed a single meet, and I knew that no matter the outcome, you guys would be cheering me on, and you'd be there to support me at the end of the day. Um, even though you had to watch between your fingers, because I scared you a lot of the time, you knew every score, what dive was good and what was bad, and you knew um, everything by the end of my year. And to this day, they still travel with me to every marathon and triathlon across the country that I do. Thank you guys so much. I really, um, I would not be here today if it weren't for you. I'm just very, very grateful 
for you guys and your support. I love you guys very much. To my boyfriend Dylan, who is not here tonight, who is a head football coach, so he's doing his due diligence. Um, but I was lucky enough to meet him here on the team and we won our national titles together. So it's an honor to also be joining him here in the Hall of Fame. He was always a great leader to us and he showed us what hard work and determination can do. So I'd like to thank him for being my best friend and my support system after all of these years. Now to my coaches, uh, my high school coach, Mr. John Pearson, uh, he taught me about tough love. And I didn't love it at the time, but that was exactly what I needed before I even got into college because he got me the foot I needed before I even stepped on a one meter or a three meter. Um, thank you very much for him. He prepared me for what was the toughest four years of my life. To my college coach, Kelly, thank you for being um, there since day one and believing in me, even though I didn't believe in myself a lot of the time. You pushed me so hard that sometimes I wanted to quit, but I didn't, thank you. Um, you were there for every up and down and you were the mother to our team. And uh, you got me here to where I could stand up here today. Sean and Bryce, even though I wasn't specifically coached by you, your renowning support at every single meet was truly, truly appreciated. And your success for this team made just being on this team all around successful and it was one of the best experiences that I had. Uh, being an athlete in college is hard. It is hard work and no one truly understands how you are feeling unless they were in your shoes. You live with them, you study with them, you breathe with them. Your team is your second family and I've come to realize that now. I have a very big family and to my specific diving family, Cayman, Mia, Nate, Holly, JJ, and Kevin, thank you guys for being there with me and you have made it all worthwhile. Uh, being a student athlete never really leaves you and I'm happy to be giving back as being a dive coach myself now at my alma mater. And let me tell you, being on the other end of the spectrum, I truly, truly respect that now. <laughs> Kids are hard, <laughs> but being a coach, um, I hear a lot of kids talk about wanting to compete in college and the first thing I tell them is do you love it because if you love it then it's worth it it's eight months of early mornings hard workouts eating and being on the run along with balancing school and trying to have some sort of a social life it's hard work but it's worth it none of us got here today by luck we worked harder and trained harder to be able to get here at the end of the day we all probably thought about quitting at least once. I know I did, uh, but we didn't. And standing in this room with all of you today has been unbelievable, and I'm so incredibly thankful for this opportunity. So congratulations again to everybody. Warriors forever. Thank you.